Hello. Uh, there's a number of reasons why I'm uncomfortable being called rap genius, that I am rap genius doing my thing. Uh, one of which is that I just started working full time for the company a month ago. I'm not one of the uh, founders. I was he uh, hired to be the sort of, well, my, my official title is education czar. Um, and so I'm, I'm new at this. I'm new to this kind of community. In fact, I had no idea about this conference until about a week ago. I was at a MIT and Jamie told me about it, and when I told my bosses, they were like, oh yeah, we should have responded to those emails from Dan, and you should go out. So um, also did not know I was going to be presenting today, so I didn't even have my six hours on the plane to rethink anything previous. But in any case, actually, I am going to start off with a little bit of my own story, just because, not because uh, out of any hubris, but because it is demonstrative in certain ways of the you know, ideas that came up to my mind uh, in the morning in terms of engaging different communities because I was hired out of the Rap Genius community. Um, I'm, I was uh, working on the final chapter of a dissertation in English at UT Austin and uh, I'm a hip hop fan and the final chapter was on the concept of the hip hop novel. So I was spending quite a bit of time on Rap Genius productively procrastinating by annotating all my favorite hip hop uh, artists and albums. Um, and I'd worked in the digital writing and research lab at UT Austin, and so I had a mind, uh, you know, an imagination for digital pedagogical tools. And so at some point I was playing on Rap Genius, and I realized that this would be an incredibly dynamic tool to bring into my classroom. And I had, um, no offense to anyone in this room, had heard about annotation technologies, um, had been exposed to some of them, but had not found anything compelling, or in many cases never knew that any of the things that you guys talked about this morning even existed, because they weren't there for the taking in the way that rapgenius.com was there for me to go ahead and add whatever I wanted to their database. And so I added The Great Gatsby, and I added poems by William Carlos Williams, and I added essentially my entire American literature curriculum, uh, with a few exceptions that were under copyright that I was nervous about, um, and had my students uh, in the classroom uh, annotating uh, these texts using Rap Genius. Now, of course, they thought it was pretty cool because it was you know, rap genius in the classroom, but um, the technology was there, uh, a really powerful tool um, for them to play around with and to really embody what was mentioned earlier this, this morning in terms of Web 2.0 uh, empowerment, uh, making them producers rather than consumers. No longer reading the footnotes of a Norton anthology, but in, in a sense creating our own Norton anthology with our own headnotes and our own editorial um, decision making. So at some point, uh, you know, I was in touch with the guys from Rap Genius. They were really excited about what I was doing. And again, this was not anything particularly innovative, as everybody in this room knows. You know, scholars are interested in annotation, teachers are interested in annotation. So I don't consider my move at all brilliant in any way. But uh, the one sort of uh, ridiculous thing that happened is that I ended up not going on to be a professor and, yes, becoming a rap genius. So. Um, a little bit about the history of uh, Rap Genius, and many of you know there's some visibility in the news, but started off uh, annotating hip hop lyrics. Anybody know uh, what the reference here in the Kanye West song is to? Yes, sir, in the back? That's right. It's a remix of a Malcolm X speech by Any Jeans Necessary by Kanye West, and you can uh, see that dynamically demonstrated on the, on the, on the site here uh, by clicking on an annotation and getting a little explanation that comes up uh, there. And so there's a, this is, we're the biggest hip hop site on the planet and have a huge archive of hip hop lyrics, much better than the Yale anthology of hip hop lyrics, which came out about a, a year or two ago under much criticism because there were many transcription errors, really no scholarly apparatus involved. But our site, of course, if you see a mistake here, you can immediately, if you're a user, correct the transcription error. And of course, there's this huge communal scholarly apparatus that surrounds uh, every single text. Um, so for hip-hop scholars, it's a really great tool. Um, but for hip-hop artists, it's a great tool as well. We're starting to verify artists to get them signed up for this site with a unique account, which gives their explanations and annotations a different kind of visibility on the site, and it's becoming more and more so with the exception of uh, Jay-Z and Kanye West. Almost all the big name uh, rappers are coming to the site and creating, creating these accounts as a part of their promotional tools along with Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and things like that. Kendrick Lamar, who you see up there, uh, probably released one of the most popular albums last year in hip hop. Um, Nas, uh, oh no, I jumped ahead of Nas. Um, where am I? 
Yeah, Nas is a, one of my favorite rappers. He's verified on the site. He's actually an early investor in Rap Genius. You can see here uh, how his annotations differ from the community's annotations with this particular highlight. So he's got an account and his fans can follow him uh, here. Um, very quickly, uh, this spread across the, the, the globe. And so we have French rap on the site. Uh, this French rapper actually uh, cites rap genius in his rap, a sort of meta moment in the history of uh, global hip hop. Um, but of course, we moved quickly beyond uh, hip hop and into uh, rock uh, and other musical lyrics. So you can also search rap genius for rock lyrics, for indie rock lyrics, for classic rock lyrics like this Eagle song, and learn that Colita is a reference to uh, sweet, sweet marijuana. Um, if you were ever curious about that. Uh, so we've also launched a, a, a literary initiative called Poetry Brain, which has its own domain uh, as a blog currently, but eventually probably will be a separate vertical that houses our literary content. And the blog is pretty great. You should follow them on Twitter. You should follow them on Facebook and keep up with the blog. There's a lot of interesting sort of uh, cultural news items that are coming up here. Also highlights the, the literary content that's going up on the site. Um, it's all going up on Rap Genius right now. Uh, so, for example, we have uh, T.S. Eliot, uh, The Wasteland is up here. It was actually referenced in The New Yorker online the other day that, you know, Rap Genius uh, s scholars and editors and users had annotated The Wasteland. Um, and somebody mentioned earlier Ulysses. Uh, so Ulysses is being annotated currently on uh, Rap Genius, and I invite Catalina, is that the name of the, the keynote, to, to come and uh, to annotate here to try to reproduce her uh, handwritten notes online here with a community of uh, public scholars. Uh, Lewis Carroll is on the site, Langston Hughes. I mean, the literary content is growing uh, much, much faster than the rap content right now because we can go back into history and add all those uh, you know, uh, uh, novels and poems that are in the public realm. Um, Along with verifying rappers, we're also verifying novelists and poets. So this is a book that came out in January by Adam Mansbach called The R Rage is Back. And we uh, got in touch with him, and he put his first chapter of the brand new book on Rap Genius while he was on tour. And you can see his green uh, annotations here, really neat sort of behind the scenes explanations of what he was doing in the chapter. But fans have also come along and annotated uh, as well. And you can listen to the audiobook on the right here, and there's a little head note that provides links to Amazon so you can buy the book. Uh, same thing with poetry. I've got verified poets going on on the site. Uh, just this morning, we launched uh, a chapter from Tom Wolfe's, that's without an E, uh, Tom Wolfe's novel Sound on the site, and FSG here is tweeting about the fact that a chapter from this guy's book is on uh, rap genius. That says something about the the publishing industry and their responses to technologies like this. The Bible is on Rap Genius. The King James version of the Bible is on Rap Genius. And there's even a sort of table of contents and guide here uh, that the community created to help people wade through uh, the Bible. Uh, American history, the Mayflower Compact, all these dudes, you want to know what they look like? You can go to Rap Genius and see. Here's Miles Standish. Oops. <clears throat> Uh, what else do we have? We have, obviously, uh, lots of speeches from history. Um, somewhat ironically, uh, Digital Millennium Copyright Act is on Rap Genius, annotated by a Stanford law professor, Mark Lemley. Um, and that, this is just one of many legal cases that are up there. We see the eventual launch of something like, uh, called Law Genius. Um, one thing that's really hot right now, Rap Genius is annotating the news, breaking down the news line by line. And so we started to publish blog entries about the news of the week, uh, statements on same-sex marriage from a couple weeks ago, and um, a speech that Hillary Clinton gave. I don't know what this is, some other uh, legal stuff, and uh, gun violence acts and things like that. Uh, uh, Roger Ebert, we were able to honor him, and of course this week we'll probably have some of Margaret Thatcher's speeches featured. Um, the Christopher Dorner Manifesto uh, was viral on Rap Genius for a while. Huge community of users. On any site, on any page, you can see the people who explained uh, the most here. And you can see this is a pretty big number of folks that just logged on to the site to annotate um, to annotate this, this, this album, this, uh, this lyric, uh, this you know, manifesto of Christopher Dorner. 
Um, that's a lot of folks right there. Uh, Barack Obama's State of the Union, all his speeches are on there. I, I watched the State of the Union at the same time as I, uh, uh, while I was reading it and annotating it on Rap Genius, and I was not the only one there. Um, this is just a quick snapshot of my original uh, assignment. Again, it wasn't anything special uh, in, particu in particular, but uh, my class, really, the big thing they did was annotating F. Scott Fitzgerald's Great Gatsby. And uh, just anecdotally, I don't know if it's OK for me to say this, but my understanding is that when they presented to Anderson Horowitz, um, they pulled up my students' work. So they pulled up student work on The Great Gatsby inside of Rap Genius as part of that uh, presentation that was a successful presentation. Um, this is one of my students. He's actually going to intern at Rap Genius this summer, Louis Lafaire. Uh, dynamically, sort of close reading this line about uh, the sort of invisibility of labor in The Great Gatsby. Um, you know, using visual rhetoric, links, really highly informed, deeply analytic. We see uh, Rap Genius as the ultimate close reading tool. Um, so I'm developing a whole in infrastructure on the site around uh, Rap Genius and education, providing resources for uh, teachers and students to come to um, and check, check us out and, and guide teachers through the process of integrating this into their curriculum. And really, they don't have to change anything. Uh, any user can add any kind of content. We could go ahead and add transcripts of this morning's talks um, on Rap Genius. All we would need to do is copy and paste that material from uh, the presenter's um, files. Uh, a colleague of mine put up uh, Moby Dick, which was uh, a, a, a long book, has a lot of chapters. But he did something really cool. It's not coming up because of the server, but he had students choose a chapter and basically take editorial control of a chapter. And then they lectured about the uh, chapter in their class and then recorded uh, the lectures and put them on SoundCloud. And again, the uh, embed is not coming up here because of the internet, but you can listen to a student lecturing on uh, Moby Dick here. I mean, one of the cool things about Rap Genius is that we're, 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 this really is the unwashed in a lot of senses. It's, in, it's inclusive of everybody as scholars not restricting that to any academic institution and inviting everybody to participate in this way and encouraging them to do so through some pretty fun features that I don't think distract from close reading and I think add to the engagement of the very same skills that everybody in, in the humanities and in other uh, classrooms is trying to get students involved in, close reading, analysis, being informed, um, visual rhetoric. This is an entire poem annotated in images. Imagine the kids that don't speak that much in class, but really have a visual imagination in their, in their reading and in their analysis, have an opportunity to participate in a really dynamic way. Uh, one of our most visible initiatives in terms of the education outreach is a project that you may have read about called Science Genius that involves the Jizza, the rapper from the Wu-Tang Clan, uh, and Chris Emden of Columbia University, uh, where students are writing rigorous raps based on uh, their scientific learning. Um, and then we're going to publish those raps on Rap Genius and have scientists annotate the high school students. So that's what's going on in the New York City public schools. Um, plus one in the house. My wife is a biologist. Um, I convinced her when she was lecturing at, the U at UT Austin to, to put a scientific article up and have about 100 uh, students in an undergraduate uh, biology course annotate uh, this article from PLOS One. Uh, which I'm not going to read, but if you're curious on how to find it on Rap Genius, just go to our search engine and type in gonads. <laughs> this is the only thing that comes up. It's easy to find in that sense. It's hard to remember all these different authors. Um, but this was a pretty neat thing. Again, look at all these kids. Look at all these students that have participated in the annotation of this on the right sidebar there. All these are students that signed up for the site as part of this class. Um, and they're not you know, adding to the scholarship so much as helping each other through a difficult text. Reading a, a scientific article for the first time as an undergraduate, but doing so in community, doing so with other, with research assistants, you know, with, with your classmates as research assistants, each looking things up and, uh, you know, so in some cases really dynamically visualizing uh, the knowledge as a sort of teaching aid. So that's one of the weirdest things on Rab Genius, the, uh, this hermaphroditic fish article. And of course, we're still in a kind of musical state of mind. So we have everything has got lyrics at the end of it, right? So State of the Union 2013 lyrics. Um, but our philosophy is that all, all poetry is rap, all text is rap, and all, all uh, 
I'll wrap his text or something like that. And again, I'm, I'm new. Um, so there's some weird things on Rap Genius. We've got our own visual development going on for visual uh, annotation of images. And we've got video annotation, which I didn't pull up a slide for to, to, uh, to demonstrate anything. But Rap Genius is fun. That's one of the things I feel like is sort of missing from this morning. I don't mean that as a criticism. Again, I'm totally new here. But the success of Rap Genius, on some level, at least for me, was that I didn't know where any of these tools were that you guys were talking about before. But Rap Genius was there, and Rap Geni Genius was fun for the kids. And there's a playfulness about it, and a kind of more relaxed. And it's not that it's not scholarly. On every page, we acknowledge the top uh, scholars of a particular uh, of a particular text or a particular author. Um, but it's fun. You can play around on Rap Genius. There's whip, poor Will I Am. Um, you can also find uh, recipes on Rap Genius, chocolate chip cookies. And so let's see who's the top scholar of grandma. Oops, it's not going to let me. But in any case, uh, that's, that's what I got. <clears throat> Thank you.